Hey Puzzlers, this is Steve here with another video on how to play some Sudoku variants. This one's known as an anti-diagonal Sudoku, and how it works is just like in regular Sudoku, every row, every column, and every 3x3 three three box is going to contain the digits 1 through 9 without repeating. The added variant, however, says that each diagonal, the long ones, may only contain at most three different digits. So I'm going to show you an example of what that looks like before solving in case that doesn't make any sense to any of you guys. So this is an example solution. If we look along the diagonals, you can see it has 215, 512, 251. So only three digits along that diagonal. And then along the opposite diagonal, same thing, only three different digits, 891, 819, 189. doesn't matter the order as long as there's no more than three digits appearing on each diagonal. So that's it for the rules. Uh, I have pulled this from my recently published book on Amazon. I uh, hope you guys check it out. I had a lot of fun making it. Hopefully you guys have a lot of fun solving the puzzles. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and solve this one so you can see how it unravels. So what I would do is see if you can solve anything just by using regular Sudoku strategies, you know, such as scanning. We see two nines there. That's going to shove a 9 here. This 9 cancels that. So we can do some, some uh, pencil marks here uh, in the corner. So 9 is going to go in one of those cells. 8, 8, we know an 8 is going to go in one of those cells. 6, 6, 6, uh, 6, and 6. No, not seeing 6s as is that helpful. 9 and 9. OK, so we can solve uh, one of the 9s. That shoves a 9 here. But we can't have a 9 in this cell because of this 9 over here. So that gives us a 9 here. And now we know that this 9 is going to be on all of the, uh, the diagonals. So <clears throat> what that means is there's going to be a 9 on, in one of these. So this can't be the 9. This now has to be the 9. So we have two digits, a 4 and 9. Uh, we know one of these is going to have to be a 4 then. Can't be this one up here because we'd have two fours then in that column. So we know that this is a four. Um, we know uh, there's gonna be a four and nine in one of those. Uh, we could do some pencil marks. Now, <clears throat> I don't know what the third digit is. I don't know what this one is yet. I'm sure we can figure that out shortly, but let's continue to see if we can just scan around and uh, catch any more easy ones. So nine and nine shoves a nine over here. This can't be a 9, because otherwise you'd have two 9s in that row. So we have that as a 9. Putting a 9 down here. But we know there's got to be a 9 on this diagonal. And so therefore, this can't be the 9. That has to be the 9. These two 9s shoves a 9 over here. Those can't be 9s, because they would duplicate in that row. So that's a 9. So the nines, uh, I think, are solved. That was uh, a, a good place to start then uh, on this puzzle. We know one of these is going to be a four because the rule says that there has to be a four, right? It's four, nine, and a third digit. I don't know what this third digit is, but whichever one it is, these are going to match, these two highlighted cells. So we know it can't be a three. We know it can't be a six or a seven four, five, or six. So let's, let's, uh, let's back up here. So it could possibly be a one. That's an option. It could be a two, but it can't be a three because of this three here. We already have a four in the box, five, six, seven. Could it be an eight? I think it could be an eight. Yeah, so it's going to be a 1, 2, or 8. So that wasn't as helpful as I was hoping. So these here, uh, can I cancel any of them out there? No, maybe that's not the way to go about it. These 5s, shove a 5 here, and that's that's not helpful. I know the 5's not there. So I guess I could do a, a, a pencil mark there. Um... Eights, can we do anything? I think we've already done some pencil marks. Oh, these two here shoves an eight over here. You know what? 
this 8 can't exist here. And the reason for that, I'll explain here shortly, if we look at this diagonal, there can only be three digits, and they have to match with those three digits. But since there's an 8 over here, this 8 is not on this diagonal. Therefore, it can't be on the diagonal up here. Otherwise, that would break the variant rule. So that can't be an 8. Therefore, that's the 8. Canceling those, that shoves an 8 up here and then down here, right? So if you think about this, this eight blocks those cells. Can't be down there, we already have digits. So it forces an eight up here, and with the, an eight there and an eight up here, that forces an eight down here. That means now this can't be an eight on the diagonal, meaning that can't be an eight on the diagonal. So it's gonna be a one or a two. This is a triple. We have um, a, well, let's fill them all in. Uh, one, two, three. We know this can't be a three, and that can't be a three because of the three down here that sees those. Otherwise, you'd have duplicate threes. So that forces the three over here. So this is a one, two pair. Let's uh, get rid of the corner marks so I don't get confused. So that's a one, two pair. That makes this a triple. We can just write those in. So we have one, two, three, four. We're missing five, six, seven. Well, this can't be a five or six because we already have the five and six there. So that forces that to be the seven. Those can no longer be sevens. This can't be a six. We have a six already right next to it. So that's a five, making that the six. Now we have a seven on the diagonal. So we know a seven has to be here on those. Well, it can't be here because of this one and this one. So that puts a seven in one of those, and it puts a seven in one of those because it can't be here because of that seven. Um, all right, so we're making making good progress. This is a double here, so we're missing two digits in that row. We're missing a two and a three, I believe. Yeah, two and a three. Can't really quite figure that one. Well, this one's on a diagonal. Can we have a two and a three on this diagonal? Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't see why not. Uh, this is a triple. We're missing a one, seven, and a four. Well, four can't be here. We already have a four down in the corner uh, of that of that column. Um, is that all I can cancel out? One, four, seven. Yeah, I guess. Guess that's not super helpful. Uh, one, four, seven. One. Let's. All right, I feel like I've hit a little bit of a wall. Um, this is a quadruple with two of the digits being on a diagonal, so maybe this can be helpful. We're missing one, two, three, five. Five can't be there. Oh, you know what? These can't be threes. We could have just done normal Sudoku. One, the two threes there pushes a three over here, so that's a three. And now we know this can't be a three because there's a three on the diagonal, so a three and a seven. Uh, so we know that this can't be a three, otherwise where do you put the three on the diagonal there? That's not possible. So that's a two, that's a three. So one, two, or five. Can we cancel any of these? Yeah, that can't be a two. I guess we could have known that because the two's off the diagonal, so it wouldn't be able to. So one or five. Well, guess what? So this is, this is how I'm going to solve this one. Uh, this has to be a one or five which would have to match up here. So this can't be a four, right? There's no, the, the four is off the diagonal, so that can't be a four. So now we have a one, seven pair, makes that a four. So one, seven, three is your diagonal, one, seven, three. One, seven, three. So this can't be five, that's gotta be a one. Uh, so we can take the one off of those. That's a two, five pair, making this a pair. Uh, we're missing one, two, three, four, a four and a eight. 
Um, and you know what? So this can't be the four uh, because otherwise the four would have to be the common digit in both of these diagonals, which is which is not the case. Uh, this has to be. I think these have to be ones because the this diagonal and that diagonal have to share a digit. So that has to be a one. Hopefully that makes sense for you guys. And so the shared digit goes in the middle because this cell here sees both diagonals that way and that way. So hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Um, this can't be a five. We don't have a five on that diagonal. So that makes that the five. That's no longer a five. This has to be the four. 914 is the three digits on the diagonal, so that's the four, making that a one. Because again, 149 are the digits along the diagonal. Uh, this is a, a pair, a 3 7 pair. You can get rid of the corner mark. Um, same with that corner mark there, just so I don't get confused. And now. We're getting close to finishing up here. Um, this can't be a four anymore. We've put, put a four already in that row. So that's an eight, that's a four. This is a triple, we're missing three digits, one, two, and seven. This can't be a seven or one, so that's the two. Uh, that's no longer a two, that's no longer a two. Uh, this is a single. What's the digit missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, an eight. We're missing an eight there. Um, so at this point, I think it's just a matter of cleaning up. So this is a triple. Uh, oh, you know what? No, I, <clears throat> I almost made that mistake. I always make, I was going to say it's a triple. And since this is a two, five, I was going to automatically put in a two, five here, but we already have a five. So this is a two, that's a five. I make that mistake a lot, and I'm lucky the five was there. If the five was over here, I might have missed it. Uh, so this is a double. We're missing a one and a three. This can't be a one, because we already have a one in that column. So that's a three, that's a one. Uh, three, three pushes a three in the middle here. We can't have a three in that cell, otherwise we'd have two threes in that column. So that's the three there. This is a triple. We're missing a two, five, seven. This can't be the seven. That can't be a five. That can't be a two because those digits already exist in those columns. Two or five. Well, there's a two right next to it, so you can't have twos repeat. That's a five. That's a seven. There's your two. This seven forces this to be a seven because that can't be a seven. That has to be a one. That makes this digit a two. And there we go. We are getting close to finishing. This is a pair. We're missing a two, two, six. We already have a six in this row. So that's a two. That's a six. Um, two and two pushes a two up here. Can't be this cell or that cell because of those twos. So that's a two. This is a single, we're missing a four. Four, yes, we're missing a four. Um, one, three, seven is what we're missing. Well, I can't have a, a one or seven here. So this is a three, because where else do you put a, a... Wait, is that right? Here, let's just do it this way. I'm, I'm sorry, I had a little bit of a brain fart out here. My baby crying in the other room and it's making me lose my concentration. Okay, one, three, five is what we're missing. This can't be a five or three. We already have those in that column, so that one is all that, that can put, be put there. Um, these can't be ones anymore. Uh, so this has to be the one now, because this one makes this a seven making that a one. This five means that can't be a five, that has to be a three, making that a five. 
that three can't be because we already have a three, so that must be a seven, making that a three. And now this is a double. We're missing in that row one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. The seven and the six up here disambiguate this, so this must be a six. That's the seven. We're missing an eight. That eight means that can't be an eight. And that's an eight. Only digit now we need is a four. All right, so let's put in the two missing digits in this column. We're missing a one, two, three, four, five, a six and a seven. This can't be a six. We already have a six in that row, so that's a seven. That's the six. This column is missing two digits. Well, let's just do the row. It's easier for me to read across than an up and down. Uh, one, two, we're missing a three, and we're missing a four. This four disambiguates it. This is a three, that's a four. Last two digits of the Sudoku, it's going to be an eight and a two. This eight disambiguates it, so this must be the two, and that must be the eight. And there you have it. That is an anti-diagonal Sudoku. Uh, I like it. I, I thought it was a lot of fun uh, when I were, was making them. I will say I do think they are easier than a lot of the other puzzles in there. Um, this was actually the, the, the hard one. Um, so so the, the easy and the medium you, you might find to be um, super easy, but uh, still enjoyable. I, I like it because it's not one um, that I've seen before. I know that there's the Sudoku X or the diagonal Sudokus, which I also have in the book and are very popular variants, but this is actually a unique one that I've not seen before. So I enjoyed uh, solving them. Hopefully you guys did too. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks everyone. Have a good night.